How's everybody doing? I hope you're all doing well. God bless you all. Um, I'm outside tonight. Beautiful night. The moon is behind the trees right now. My one tiki torch went out, but I got one of them going. It's a beautiful night. Nice and quiet. Just chilling. I hope you're all doing well. There's the moon right there. So, I'm going to go over a few things and, uh, Here's the date. As I said, I, I knew last night we wouldn't be leaving. Um, and uh, I'm going to go over Tabernacles as I have been going all this time lately. About Tabernacles. Going to answer some questions as uh, people ask me questions. This explosion right here, it says massive explosion on the far side of the sun. People were asking me about this, so I'm going to go over it right now. Hopefully I don't uh, mess up here. Every time I touch my uh, screen. This guy is the one I listen to. The reason why is he tells you where it's coming from. It's a massive explosion, okay? These are on the far side of the sun. As I said, 27 days. And I've showed on my videos. 27 days is the 23rd. Another 27 days, another 27 days, let's go to this, oh, let's see, let's do this, I'm going to go slow, I'm always running a mile a minute, 27 days is the 23rd. That's almost in the middle of Tabernacles, but uh, I usually have stuff set up, but I have most everything set up. So the 23rd right here is 27 days right here. 23rd. This is Tabernacles. The 23rd, 923, as I showed you, an IPEC goat right here. And the 8th day would be right here. High watches. And this is what I've been focusing on. Like I said, there's things that have to happen. I believe the stock market's going to crash. And I will go over a few other things that I think might happen. So the 23rd is 27 days. As I show you here, it says... The far side of the sun exploded. This has been happening for months. I've been watching this, okay? What is what is a kill shot? This is what it would be like. This is not a kill shot. If the gun is not aimed right at you, the earth, let's say we are the earth, the gunshot is shooting this way. This is not a kill shot. So in other words, this is a nothing burger. This is not a kill shot. When this comes around, this, 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 and it's even named, they have a name for it, this sunspot, which has been the most active. This is a kill shot. So in other words, this CME is coming right towards the earth. A kill shot. Okay. I believe this is what's going to happen. A kill shot. It's going to push these asteroids towards us. I have more information I'm going to set up for um, after I get done here. So, this explosion right here is not a kill shot. It's not pointed at us, the Earth. If we are the Earth, us. This is a kill shot. So, as I showed you right here, it's coming the 23rd. In 27 more days, and I've already done the calculations, it's October 20th, which October 20th is a full moon. This is just to get ahead, but right here, we're only a, a month away from this, roughly. So it's a 20th. This would be another 27 days. So the sun would go around and rotate this sunspot that I've been watching for months, the big, big ones, and we're looking for uh a carrington event 
which they are talking about it. I will show all kinds of newspaper articles about this. All right. So, um, as I show in September right here, this is a high watch week, and I'm out with my fire pit here, but if it's nice out, I'm going to be in my fire pit all this week outside. Uh, tabernacles underneath my canopy here. I got a canopy. Can't really see it, but I got a umbrella. Anyway, so this is what I'm watching right here. So, Tabernacles, the 23rd mainly, and the seventh day, which is right here, which I've been talking about. It. I'm going to show some Bible verses that I don't think of anybody said anything about the seventh day of Tabernacles, and I will have that at the end of my video. I have had, and I, right here, I've, going over some of my videos, there's Rod and there's Wally Tron right here. He says we're a month off. Okay. Now, I'm not bashing nobody. And I made my comment that I made to him. You can see it for yourself. I said, you can be, you might be right, brother. I've had other people say to me, and there's good comments. All these comments are good. You can read them. Uh, there's People's 923, Jeff, yes, all of them. You can read it. There's a couple things on here I will go over later, but I'm not going to go over because we're still, everything's looking promising for, you know, these people that made videos knocking them well, a month off. What are they going to say after this week if we are still here? What are, what are, you, what are they going to say? What are they going to say if we're still here? Now, I'll get back to this, but the fact of the matter is, I've had people say to me, the Bible says at the last trump, okay? Trump, at the last trump. Well, Trump has a rally on the 25th in Georgia. Okay, he's got a rally here on the 25th, right here. Okay, now, if we leave on the 28th and 29th, if something happens to Trump here, this could be what God was talking about, the last Trump. Okay, I don't know if you know, but I know a lot of people have sent me this. This is on a billboard in Georgia. Upon us a son is given, and a government shall be upon his shoulders. And it says, Romans 8.17, which this is blasphemous, okay? Jesus is a son. Okay, this is black, and this is in Georgia. Okay. So, could God smite him because of this? Could, some people think Trump is Antichrist. I don't think so. But this also lines up, as I said, it's Obama. I believe it's Obama. The Lord showed me it was Obama. But could he die three days before? If he died here three days before, which I have had many of dreams, two Trumps and Trump getting shot. So I thought this was very interesting. And all I am doing is bringing the information to you. So... This is blasphemous right here. Jesus is our son, but he's coming like a triumphal entry. They're going to be waving at him three days before, which palm branches are tabernacles. Palm branches are tabernacles, as I showed in my other videos. But this is three days before, three days before, He's going there, there. The 25th was a Saturday, the Sabbath, three days. So, this is the first part of my video. I have more information I will set up for. And, uh, like I said, this is a kill shot with a CME aiming right at you, right at the earth. So, this is 27 days. I believe there's... I, will, I, will, I got more information I'll set up for it right now.
Yes, I'm going to end my video here. I'm going to go over a few things. This is on the 17th. The first ever hurricane from space pushes plasma towards the Earth in upper atmosphere. If it's in the upper atmosphere, it's very close. This right here, as I said in my uh, vision I had, I saw plasma in the, in the sky. It's the second video I ever made. There was a plasma and a flash of light, and a, bo a boom and a flash of light. This could be lightning, as Jesus called. This it will be, the sun will be. Uh, there'll be lightning as far as east from the west. Plasma lightning. This is coming. When this blast from the sun, it could push it towards the earth. As far as this volcano over by Africa, I believe there's going to be a lot of volcanoes going off. It's coming, and there's going to be a lot of volcanoes going off. Okay. Now, I don't believe that, I mean, yes, it could go off on the 23rd or whatever, but I, I don't think so. Could be a nuke. We'll find out. Then right here, the hurricane that's coming from Africa, there's two of them. Odette, which as you can see is already there. The next one is Peter. Right here. This is right in our wheelhouse. Peter. Very interesting. Peter, which is probably about seven days away. I'm assuming somewhere in that time frame from watching these come in. Peter, which reminds me of Peter right here. You can read Acts 10 right here. Peter in salvation and to the Gentiles right here. You can read this for yourself, Acts 10. Also, too, I was going to have more Bible verses, but I'll have you do that for yourself. Acts 27, it talks about the ship, and judgment happened after the Day of Atonement. Um, they were in the boat, and Paul told them not to sail. And God spared them. He was visitation. He had a visitation from an angel. After the Day of Atonement. I believe that's Tabernacles. You can also read Luke chapter 9. It talks about when uh, um, they were going to make a tabernacle. Okay. And he was visited. Okay. They were going to make a booth. Three booths. That's in, that's in Luke chapter 9. So you can do those on your own. Um, so the Peter right here. Also, too, my Facebook friends, you can pay for Catherine Scarborough. She is in uh, Australia. You know what's going on there? Very bad. We are very blessed here so far. We still, things are going on. Nell told me, Nell told me, he told me that he can't buy nothing. He went to the mall. Pray for now. He went to the mall. He cannot buy nothing if he doesn't have to be vaccinated. Okay. Um, April lives in Australia. Beautiful sister. Pray for her. Give them strength. We all need strength. Um, Troy, her husband. Troy, her husband, right there. Pray for him, too. The other one I wanted to pray for, she's my Facebook friend, is uh, the McCunes, Mr. and Mrs. McCune, McCown, McCune. She, uh, her and her husband are in the hospital and pray for them. Um, my beautiful sister and brother, uh, Mr. and Mrs., um, they're in the hospital. So that's all I have for today. I hope you're all doing well as we wait. And uh, like I said, if the weather keeps up, I came inside. It was getting kind of windy. And uh, I had a cat, a neighbor cat. I don't know whose cat it was. It was bothering me. And uh, I did leave out some food for it. But um, like I said, this is what I'm looking at. I hope you're all doing well. God bless. And uh, as I always say,
right here, praying her prayer closet daily, have that personal relationship with the Lord, ask the Lord to forgive you of anything, come clean, don't hide anything like Adam Adam and Eve did, hides things from the Lord, they, they were hiding, bring it to the Father in secret and get rid of it. God bless you all, and I hope you're all doing well.